Hello and welcome to the Reboot Network. Today we're going to talk about notifications. You are able to set up your account for several different types of notifications. These are useful for when you want to receive email alerts for things like when, you're, when a new purchase order has been received in your account, when there's an issue with one of your invoices that you've sent and it's been rejected and not received by your customer and therefore not routing for payment, when your invoice status changes from possibly sent to approved or paid, um, and other things as well. So we're going to go over all the notifications today. And the where you find your notification settings is under here, company settings. As you can see, this has a drop down triangle, which denotes that there is a menu here. If we open up this section here, there is a notification section here, which is the notifications for your account in general. And you can go over that in more detail by just clicking there. But for anything that is actual um, business related to your documents, your purchase orders, your invoices, etc., it's going to be in this section down here. They are not the same. They are different. So I'm going to click on electronic order routing for the first type. Okay, and as you can see here, whenever you come into the uh, electronic order routing page, we're going to skip this section here because this really only applies to people who are um, doing integrations with Ariba where they're trying to automate their system with our system and so if you're not doing that this does not apply to you however this section down here below where you see the routing method and for new orders this will because we're talking about setting up your account for notifications for when a new purchase order is received within your account the reason why this is uh, valuable or important is because um, normally if you received a purchase order as you can see here the default setting is online which means that there was a, a purchase order received it was held in your online account but there was no notification sent to you to tell you to log in and check in the inbox so we recommend that you set up your account to receive email alerts for when new purchase orders are received that way you know exactly when the purchase order is ready and you can log in to submit your invoice cutting down the time that you need in order to um, to check on these things. Okay, so the first thing you'd want to do is you'd want to click on this checkbox and select email. I want to mention one thing first because I do get questions on this quite often on this particular order type. So this one says catalog orders without attachments. Some of you might be thinking, I don't know if I have a catalog. I don't know if there's an attachment. Does this apply to me? I would just say, if you notice here in the listing, once you select email for this certain type, every single subsequent type below in the list is going to say same as above. So essentially when you select email for the first type, you're selecting email for every type. And that way, once you do one selection, you're covered for every type. And you don't necessarily have to worry about whether this applies to you. You can just make your selection and then you know that you're covered. Okay, so if we select email, it's going to open up with the email box over here and now this pre-populated with some information because I've used this test account in the past however your email address box would be blank and so you'd want to make sure that you fill it out with your email address or whomever's whomever's you're going to be using um, and I would say too um, there are some uh, formatting uh, regulate like requirements and there are some limitations so there's an icon here if you click on it, it will tell you that for email routing, you want to set up a maximum or that you can set up a maximum of five email addresses and it's going to be comma separated. And it's comma separated with no spaces. So as you can see here, I put in one email address for myself, comma, next email address for myself, comma, and no space. So you'd want to follow the same exact format. Otherwise, um, it will it will fail to route your email. So the one thing I want to mention here, if you need to get around the five uh, the five email limit, and you need to have more than five people receive 
notification for these new purchase orders. You can set up an internal email distribution list within your you know, email provider. Add as many people to the group as you need to. And then once you add that email address, for instance, accounting at Ariba.com, something to that effect, right? Um, once you have that email address listed, it'll essentially represent one email for many people. And then you can get around that limitation if you need to. The other thing I want to mention in this particular section is down here at the very bottom. So there is this type that says notifications for orders and there's a send a notification when an order is undeliverable. This is important for when, if you have your account set up for email alerts, occasionally email addresses become stale. They might have inboxes that are too full. They might have different return responses. Maybe the employee has um, left the company and no longer has a valid email address. So orders, when they say that they're undeliverable, it just means undeliverable to your email address that you have listed in your email preference up above. So your, your, your purchase order will always be delivered to your inbox in your account and you will be able to see it there, but it will have a failed order status as opposed to new. And the reason why I bring this up is because if your order is in a failed status, you cannot invoice on it against it so you have to refresh it in order to um in order to have it refreshed to a new status you need to first of all when you receive this type of error um you would want to come out to this page again the email the electronic routing order routing page and you would want to make sure that every email address you have listed there is in the correct format there's no typos it's comma separated with no spaces that the people listed there are still valid employees Occasionally, you might have somebody who has gone on maternity leave, is about sick, is on vacation. They have an out-of-office message that is just um, not recognized by the system. Or um, sometimes to spam filters, if there's a spam um, or a firewall response to an email, that can also trigger it. You just need to make sure that you've added Ariba to the safe sender list, etc. Right? So there are so many different ways that this can fail just because of the way that different systems handle emails and spam and etc. So you just want to come out, if you get this error, come out to this page, do some due diligence, make sure that everything's correct, that you don't have expired employees on there. And then once you do that, if you need to make changes, go ahead and make them and click save. And then once you are done, you can always refresh your purchase order by going back to the inbox, click on the document to open it up, click on the PO number. And the top bar to the very right, you will see a resend button. You can click that button and then once um, you go back to the inbox, just refresh the page to see if the status has gone from failed to new. What that resend button does is it will resend the email notification to your email address if you have it set up for email and you will receive the email and then also the order will re refresh to new and will allow you to invoice against it. So I recommend that this notification be turned on because although it seems like something that won't happen, um, it does happen uh, fairly frequently on our network. And if you have a question about what I just talked about and you want some actual documentation, the Help Center is a great resource. You can come in here and say, resend failed order. How do I resend a failed purchase order from my account? Or maybe you don't even know that you need to resend it. Failed order. How do I edit and resubmit a failed rejected invoice? Here we go. What do I do with a failed purchase order? So the Help Center is a great tool if you ever have something that you don't understand, you don't know what to do, but you can't invoice. <laughs> it's preventing you from moving forward. I would just come out here and type it in because this is a repository of our customer support frequently asked questions and supports responses. And it has navigation information and how to and tools. So. I highly recommend using this, especially for this type of case. It's um, It gives you really fast access and answers to your questions. Okay, once you've made all your changes, you're just going to come up here and click Save. And then we're going to move on to Invoice Routing. So Invoice Routing is another type of notification. 
Typically, you do not need to receive an email alert for when you have submitted an invoice because you know you've done it. It's in your outbox. And the really important thing that you're waiting for is status updates. So the first things first for invoice failure, this is a really important notification to turn on. The reason being is that if you sign into your Reba account and you invoice against your purchase order and you sign out because you've submitted it and you think everything's fine and a month from now you go in to check the status of your invoice and it's been rejected the same day that you submitted it 30 days ago. You had no idea because 30 days went on and you didn't know that it was having a problem. One way to alleviate and totally eliminate that scenario is to go ahead and click this particular checkbox for this notification type. If you ever submit an invoice and it gets a rejection notice, um, you will receive a notification immediately by email telling you, hey, you need to sign back into your account and resubmit that invoice. And if you have questions about why an invoice would be rejected, um, one typical case might be if you didn't enter the correct type of invoice number, for instance. There are limitations on the character limit. If you tried to submit an invoice with more than 16 characters, you could receive an error. If you used lowercase letters, that would be an error because they have to have all uppercase letters if you have alphanumeric invoice numbers. If you use special characters, um, there are, might be other reasons. You know, if you tried to invoice for an amount that was larger than what was on the purchase order line, uh, that would trigger an error if you, um, there's some different things that might happen. Okay, so that's just to kind of explain what what might trigger an error. And then this notification will let you know when that happens. And when that happens, you're just going to sign back into your account. You're going to look at the actual invoice document by going to the outbox, clicking on the invoice number, and reviewing that information to see what it is that needs to be corrected to be resubmitted. <clears throat> and again, if you get stuck in the um, invoice error, I would suggest using the Help Center. You know, type in the error code and what it says and see if any other suppliers on the Aruba network received the same error and what support recommended to them to fix it. And then you can just go ahead and make the change and then resubmit the same invoice to your customer. Another type of, of notification that you can turn on is this invoice status change. So this particular one de doesn't deal with only undeliverable or rejected invoices. This deals with also invoices that are moving from, because an invoice could move from sent to rejected status. That would be one status change. But an invoice can also move from sent to approved and to paid. If you would like to receive email alerts for each for each status change that happens on the Ariba network, you can select this checkbox and it will um, give you those email deliveries. Um, the one thing I will say about that particular type of notification, you might find that the volume is very large because for one invoice you could receive up to three to four emails, right, as it's moving through the different statuses. If that's agreeable to you and you're, you're okay with that, you can go ahead and leave it checked. If at a later time you're thinking this volume is really large and it's completely um, overwhelming my email inbox, go ahead and come in and unselect it so you have a preference there. I would say you want to make sure you always have this one selected, however. Okay, so this one's preferential. I would say this one is definitely a requirement. And then once you've made your changes, you just come up to the top and click Save. And that are, those are the notifications that are the most important for your account routing and um, for invoicing on the Ariba network.